Hello everybody and welcome back for another run of the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Last episode we went and did a Lilith run through Greed, uh, Greed mode I should say, and it turned out pretty well for us. We had a pretty exciting run. I'm looking forward to maybe though getting a little bit more unlocked on the old post-it note, and I'm looking at maybe getting some Isaac done in the realm of either, I don't know, Hush or taken through Mega Satan, see whatever, whatever pops up first. I think that... That could be a good answer. Why don't we do that? Let's take a regular old kind of vanilla standard palate cleanser run where I can't see my health and the world is on fire. How about yours? That's the way I like it. I think I've already even made that joke already. What a shame. I wish I was original like Northern Lion. <laughs> All right. It's okay. Let's get things started here. So there's been a thing going on lately uh, with the number 109. And I'm recording this the night that Tyrone has said that he might be doing a stream that, I don't know, the, the hints have been dropped that maybe the ARG of the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, maybe uh, the, the wool may be pulled away from our eyes, our naive young babe eyes. And I'm very interested in catching this stream because I'm very much invested in the super, super ultra secrets that make up this game. And I don't know if you guys have heard real bad damage on that. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, possibly like 40 items that are not uncovered after people have unlocked mostly all of the things now. So I'm obviously very much interested in understanding what exactly is preventing us from getting to that point. And well, I was uh, I was in Austin's stream the other day, Last Grey Wolf, and he was tossing around some ideas. Uh, I was of course throwing out some of my ideas. A lot of them revolved around this number that had come up, uh, and and the rumor right now is that 109 has something to do with, it could possibly be the amount of hours before the code in Rebirth was cracked open. I don't want to say data mine, because everybody says data mine, and apparently that's not the right term to use for that exact thing. Uh, but it's, you know, how they found out about the Lost and all of that biz uh, before it was actually time for us to know that. So what I'm thinking could be happening here is we're just meant to wait the 109 hours again. And then once we get through that, then they're just going to tell us and be like, Oh, well, you made it through this time, so now we'll just figure it out. Or it'll just be another hint to... Or even a patch, honestly. It could just be a patch that enables us to have the ability to get to the things that are secret. That way they can officially say they made it longer. I don't know. I hope it's not that, exactly, but I guess we'll find out right after I finish recording this. And by the time you guys see this, this uh, answer will already be um, not only common knowledge... But old news, because that's how quickly things move in the YouTube sphere. It be a little bit daunting at times, you know? You have a, a thing that you're in front of, and you're like, well, this hasn't happened yet. And then as soon as uh, you get that thought out into the world, you're immediately behind the times, and you're actually lagging in the world. Yeah, I say lagging as the frame rate freaking dips for whatever reason. Dips, get it? Because they're little poop? Oh, my goodness. Hey, hey, wait, wait, no! Oh, well, it gave me a penny anyway, so I guess that's fine. Penny any. Let's get a few more of those. Looks like we should have access to... Well, okay, that's going to require a bomb, actually. I thought we just make it right over there. It's an odd little corridor, honestly. And quite a few hearts, in fact. Oh, right, I took some damage. I forgot about that. So, yeah, it's a, a rock on one side, a fire on the other. I wonder if it just has a chance for it to be a fire on both sides. And I just didn't get the luck there. Oh, my God, you're really going to soy milk me, huh? Well, I, you know what? Yes. Yes, thank you. I will take the soul. You know what would be hilarious and kind of fantastic is if the uh, solution to this whole ARG kind of revolves around collecting all the pieces uh, of, you know, mind, body, soul, and godhead, and then doing a thing with it. Why am I not taking this immediately? I don't have the answer for you. I guess I could have taken it off to the second floor and then tried to push my luck with Devil Deal. And, you know, not go into red heart damage, that's also an option. Uh, too late, I've already used it. And by then I'll be able to see my heart, so it'll all be fine. Alright, Headless Horseman, and I don't have a battery charge. I feel like it was a pretty solid reroll, though, I mean, from one of the worst items in the game, by a lot of people's estimation, to uh, one of the best items in the game, or one of the items that can make potentially a profound difference in some cases, and actually fighting, if I do want to take this to be a, a hush run, which I believe my only goal here is I need to make it through the end of the womb by 30 minutes, 
which it, well, I'm taking a little bit of a while here, but I think we'll be okay. But if I do want to take it to the, the hush fight, I think this is actually a pretty good item to have in our back pocket because, well, there's a lot of freaking bullets in the hush fight, and hopefully this will help us deflect and move beyond being in the realm of damage potential. Wow, that, I missed all of those shots. Dude, hook me up, though, with, like, the brimstone shot, please. You know, I saw uh, the very odd and interesting effect of what happens when you have Mom's Knife paired up, and obviously I'm not using that. Uh, wait, actually, I will use this for a second so I can go check what was in that golden chest without having to use a bomb. Uh, so wasteful of my time, I'm aware. Also, if there's a secret room here. But yeah, the uh, combination of Lilith and her Incubi with Mom's Knife. Oh, sweet! That's such a good thing. I'm so glad I went back. That's fantastical. I don't think there's much else I need with the horse right now, but I'm just glad that I bothered to do that. A solid item, to be assured. Um, I want to say probably here. No. Got a little bit overzealous on that one. I guess I just wanted it to work out. Oh, this doesn't open... The room here. Okay, I thought that... No, that never happened. I was thinking of something else. Yeah, you can only get there through the Joker card, right? Sorry, there's still a few little things not quite solidified properly in my head. I guess that was one of them. My goat's head. It's so strange now to see just like a regu regular unadorned uh, cellar. It just seems... It seems so average, and it seems almost refreshing in a weird way. You know, less unknowns. It's just kind of a normal normal stroll in the park. What was going on with that? Why was that pot deflecting my bullets? Did anyone notice that? Is that... Oh, it's got the effect on it. It's actually doing that. That's very odd. You need to die, though. Oh my god, I like, can't hit it. Whenever its, uh, its aura gets too strong, it's like really hard to hit. This is the worst! I hate that champion! And you've gotta go too. Man, you take a freaking a couple of enemies, you turn them into like something that's gonna stretch out for a freaking minute or two. Wow, what a freaking nightmare of a room. Man, that's a lot of bees or whatever these are. I'm gonna have to get some damage going pretty soon. Uh, I feel pretty okay to go in the curse room though. You know, having all of these spirit hearts, I can't imagine that's really going to be a bad decision for me right now. And we're actually working up to having quite a few pennies, too. I might actually just pop these guys open. I thought quarter potential was going to be fairly high. Apparently not. Oh, no. This isn't who I wanted to meet here at all. Um, I'm just going to blow him up. I would say better devil deal chance, but, you know, I'm already guaranteed that with the goat head. Alright, may my path to the item room be direct. I doubt it will be, but may it be. Sometimes you just gotta say it out loud with a little bit of gusto. Yep, I know. Everything's on fire. I know. It's fine. I've, I've had enough of the fire right now, I know. Sometimes the walls are on fire, sometimes the people are on fire, sometimes both of them are. I wonder if there's a theme to pick up on. Almost seems a little bit like there's some sort of, like, elemental thing going on, if you think about it, really. So in the basement, you can show up with the, the fire situation, right? Everything can be on fire. Um, then you get to the caves, and the caves can be drowned. They can be, you know, covered in water. Uh, then you get to the dank area. Well, I guess that's kind of moisture as well, but I guess I was trying to hope that maybe there was a way to turn that into wind or something. I don't know. <laughs> ground ground is dank a little bit. Uh, also, we seem to have a library. So you can see we've got one that's a shop and then there's another there, so probably one of them's a library. Uh, yeah, pop by the pots. Yes, thank you. Didn't solve anything. I feel like the payouts in general also for just about everything. Oh, Rainbow Worm is... A Hello, what? Hi. Rainbow Worm's a cute addition to our group here. I don't know how I'm going to handle this, though, and still get that tinted rock. 
I guess if I could get a bomb, like, right in the center there, that would work, but it's probably gonna push it away. Oh, no, I wasted it. Everything's awful. Go. Yeah, just jam it right in there. Oh, so good. All right, we got that, and... Oh, careful. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Try it on this pass. Now get out. Okay, I still want... I still want to get up there, get the item room sorted out. So we're going to get all kinds of different worm effects. We're going to get wiggles, we're going to get flats, we're going to get wubs, we're going to get all of that square biz. It's going to be good. I'm kind of a fan of this item, actually. It's pretty handy and pretty cute or interesting or different or something. Wow, thank you for saving me the trouble there. I guess that's the only one. When we get Fester's quested a little bit, that might not be my favorite move of all. Okay, two of spades. I will use that right away. Empress and Mom's Pad. We're going to reroll that into Mask of Infamy. We're just going to take that. Uh, I think we're done. Wait, library. I want to check out that. Oh, no, sorry. It was a double key room. Let's look at that, too. Three. I don't remember what three is, but I don't need to care very much because, honestly, I just really was all about this battery here. Infested is fine. Now I can go pop through the boss room. Oh, there's another battery. I'm an idiot. And we got 24 cents, so, you know, it would be a little bit naive of me not to take a look in here. Um, do we want... Let's take a second here. Think about this. 24 cents. I'm just going to buy the 9 volt. And I think that's all I want for now. Um, well, I could buy another... Yeah, considering buying that Spirit Heart, but I guess it's a little bit late now. We're already in. And we'll fight Pin. Nice, comforting, classic boss. Nothing too scary or weird. And... Thanks to Small Rock. Quick work of that sucker. Happy with Safety Pin. And we've got two things here that I don't know if I want, to be honest. Uh, well, I guess I could pick that up. Oh, so how's the best way to do this? I can get both of them, then re-roll them both, I guess, in one fell swoop. Because I don't really want to keep either one, but I can get a heart back out of each. So that's probably the best way to go. Oh, stupid me. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay, use it. Now we gotta go back over here. I really wish we didn't have to do this freaking dance. I'll just stand in that corner. Those are not the ones I wanted. But maybe we can get another battery here. No. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, thankfully I only walked under the spikes once. Um, so we ended up with a multi-dimensional baby who is okay. He, he lags a little behind you there. Wait, there's another battery. Oh, wait, we can still do this. Sorry, I, I'm silly and I forgot that there was another battery sitting on the ground. I'm glad that I looked at the map before I went down. I don't know how our time's going to be with this, but this is worth dealing with, obviously. Uh, devil deals here can make or break a situation. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, ability to fly. I, I will take you. Don't get hit. Oh no, I didn't take off the ground yet. You're so rude. I tried, I tried, but I tried. Let's go back, uh, now, now that we've got flying, just gonna take a second here, pop through a couple of rooms, just wanna go grab that other spirit heart. Oh, thanks, should make that take an extra second. Okay, sure. Obviously, my bombs are doubling would be a lovely item, but no can do. I really can't remember what number three is on that dice room. Thankfully, I don't care too much. I'm sure it's probably making you all shout, but we'll work it out. All right, so there we go. Flooded caves. Less dank than some caves, more dank than others, I guess. The bonies seem to be having a bit of a problem. Kind of pushing up into each other a bit there. Yeah, get out of the way. Looks like the soul will actually block those, or push them back a bit, which is nice. Oh, well, that time it didn't, because the... Uh, Aura was not active. It's very subtle if you're not paying attention, but that is the way it works. Might do that. If I could get a teleport out card, that would be fine. Power pill. Power pill. Well, that's not what I wanted. 
not helpful at this very moment. Alright, so we've got to remember, I need to get very, very strong for this to be a viable run in either direction. Uh, whether I go to Mega Satan, well, that's a, another in matter entirely, because I have to get the key, which means I need to either get some angel deals, so I kind of, like, blocked myself off on that a little bit, or I need to um, get the dad's key situation happening. Could always show up on the chest, but, like, it wouldn't count on that, obviously. I'll just use this now. Uh, yeah, we're gonna reroll that. Not interested. Not. Not. I like you. We can hang out. And we've got another dice room. Uh, maybe we'll just go ahead toward the boss right now. I would like to hopefully see what the uh, the end game here is, especially with with a charge. And then we can go back for the the extra goodies. Obviously, becoming Guppy would be a lovely priority, but when is it not? And now there's so many other friends to turn into. We could turn into a mushroom, or we could turn into mom. We could turn into some sort of, like, tumor or something. I think there's, like, a tumor or, like, a Cthulhu monster. I don't know. I haven't seen all of those yet. I've seen the mushroom and the mom. And obviously, you know, Guppy and, and Lord of the Flies in prior lives past. Maybe a bit redundant to say, but, you know, uh, I'm looking forward to see what else there is. However many total opportunities we get and they do stack so you can just you load them all up have a good time oh nice save on that one saved me a little bit of damage there i was almost tempted when i walked into this room for a second as like uh i feel like i have book of belial right now why do i feel that way and i almost hit the left trigger and ruined my d uh, dice roll which would have been real silly don't do that Need a confirmation dialogue. No, I'm joking. We don't need that. All right. Any minute now. Thank you. I don't know why that fight was, like, more difficult than it should have been for me. Oh, my God, Krampus. Get out. I'm so tired of you. You're the most boring thing. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to set up for my multidimensional baby. To be in a position that's actually useful to me. Alright, that was actually nice. Soul with the clutch moves again. Oh, oh, push him away. Yeah. Goodbye. And I will take Lump of Coal for the minor damage up. I'm considering rerolling this. In fact, I did. Okay, that's fine. I'll take the luck and I'll roll with it and I'll say that's probably cool. I'll also pop my head in here for a moment. I realize we're at 1621 also, and that's a little bit bad. It's like, not just a little bit. It's like a lot a bit bad. Oh, I found another lucky coin, too. There's no tell on those, either. They just show up occasionally. They're just part of your, your menagerie of coin drops. Okay, so we're going to head straight to the right. Beeline for that curse room. So now we've got the added benefit of having the long distance damage bonus as well as the occasional I shot through a baby bonus, which is a great thing to say, honestly. It just feels, it rolls right off the tongue. I shot through a baby bonus. And I've got to make sure I feed my dank bum. He's going to appreciate it, I'm sure, too. Degas for purity. Uh, whatever. Not super concerned about that at all. Looking good on the health front. I'm sort of interested in seeing what's up with the dice room. Because it might not actually be a dice room. It might just be a bunch of consumables. And, well, I could actually use some money if it wants to uh, lend a hand in that front. And there is a bit of a difference between getting to boss rush and... Oh, by the way, correct me if I'm wrong here. I might be wrong. Uh, but th there is a difference between getting to boss rush at 20 minutes, which I know that is that limit, versus getting to the end of the womb in 30. There is a chance in those 10 minutes uh, that you might have a pretty easy time. Just get a womb XL or something and just, you know, roll with it. Oh, okay, well, it's a 5. I'm just going to take this and roll out. Oh, thank you, buddy. Made my little diversion there worth it, I guess. 
such menacing music on this floor. Also, if the video looks very, very gray to you, I agree, it does. And that's largely, I think, in part because of the very high gamma that I have set up. So when I had my gamma too low, it did not look very good. But I think if I have my gamma too high, it does not look very good. I don't know what this item is. It looks like an inhaler, maybe? I don't know, I kind of have to pick it up out of obligation. What are you? Nightlight. Scared of the dark. Oh, right, I didn't know what that looked like, but that's kind of cool. So, if it wasn't gray enough, prepare yourselves. Well, it seemed like I had that little bit ready to go, didn't it? And there was nothing else to do in here. Okay, let's go. But if we do get a Curse of Darkness, then neat. I guess we'll see better. I don't know if there's any other purposes to this item. Ooh, this is this is interesting to me. Um, let's see if we can come back to it. And maybe I'll just forget about it, and then I won't have to come back to it at all. It's a sort of a lazy way of going about that, I realize. And when you're uh, trying to become guppy, being lazy is not the best attitude, I suppose. I'm just a bit torn between the wasting lots of time element and the actually getting some stuff done element. I guess it could also be useful to bring in a battery charge or something. Well, not like I can't go back for it. It's not like the room locks off or something. After you've gone out, I mean. Yeah, I'm just going to bomb this right now. Kind of hoping maybe it would take a little detour up near the bomb, but, well, can't win them all. And I'll just continue on in any old direction, because I don't know where we're going. Some mapping would also be rather helpful here, especially when we get to the womb. Eliminate a little bit of the guesswork, and hopefully get me to my destination. Uh, it should be mentioned, of course, if I do make it to the hush fight, or to question mark, question mark, question mark, the world. Uh, you know, the floor, I mean. Of I guess we call it Blue Womb, even though there might also be another thing called Blue Womb. I don't know. Uh, but when I do make it there... There is a small grouping of items. There's actually four golden chests that drop consumables and varieties of things. I guess it doesn't have to be consumables, but they often seem to be. And then there's a shop in the bottom middle, and then on the peripheral left and right arms of that grouping of rooms, there's also a choice between two items, uh, pedestal items. So there's, there's ample opportunity for improvement at the last moment, but it's not like you want to just set up your run so like the last possible second is when you pull through on the clutch. The hush fight is not easy. In fact, it is quite not easy. And potentially, you still have more work to do after you're done. Oh no, luck down. Because it's not like the run's over after you finish hush. You still got to go back through and potentially continue on to wherever it is you were going in the first place. Just kind of hover over this water. Yeah, my damage has a, a lot to be desired. It leaves a lot to be desired right now. I mean, it's it's fun that we're dealing with this novelty of the rainbow worm and such. Ah, that's pretty good, but also... And I'm just pausing for time here. Also, my time is straight up garbage now. I'm really getting a little, little antsy about how we're going to get through this in time. And then all I've got is Mega Satan to get through, and if not, we're just doing a regular old Isaac run. I don't know how entertained you'd be by that, but, you know, we're in it to win it. Um, Miter is great, but I kind of need some damage pretty badly, so I should probably go for this. There's also a battery, it looks like, somewhere else on the floor, so... What are you? Wide shot. Oh, this could be good. Alright, I'll give this a try. Yeah, this could be fun. We'll see what's up. Um, Mega Mush? Oh, well, got three out of the four on that one. What does turning into a mushroom even do? Does it make you, like, immune to mushroom damage or something? And you can, uh, pop them open with impunity? Freaking fingernail mode is what this is. I don't know how I feel about this item. It seems pretty good. I mean, the, the fact that it seems to, uh, really become drastically wider is pretty nice. It's not just a minor cosmetic thing. It's like, you, you feel a little different when you're using this item. And I don't have a charge ready, actually. I could go back and do three more rooms, or I could pop in there and buy a battery. I think I'd rather go back. Money is at a bit of a premium, although time is also even more so. Welcome to me trying to manage a quick-ish run, as I seem to do anything but keep it in that genre of run. Um, I did make it through all the boss rush stuff on the, uh, the Twitch 
runs that I was doing, but uh, this is a thing I've always struggled with a little bit. I will blow you up for pennies and giggles. Mostly for pennies. But yeah, I will make it through all this stuff eventually. It's just probably going to take me a bit of time. Oh, hello, Pride. Uh, you can go over there. Oh, nice. They really stacked up. It seems to have made them a bit slower, too. And this will get me my charge. And then we can go back. Yet again, crossing the entire floor one more time and... Figure it out together. Do the floors feel a bit larger to you in general? Is this... Do they find it was maybe too easy for people to make it to boss rush every time? So they're just like, hey, let's just add a few more branches to these floors. That'll really mix them up. I, I mean, I didn't really find out... Oh, okay, this is actually... Yeah, now that I don't have to pay for it, I guess good to know what's in here. Um, I, I didn't often run into time constraints on this level. I mean... I had trouble going super fast, yes, but it didn't seem to be nearly as difficult to get to boss rush in time for me before. It could just be the, the circumstances of these individual runs might have just been giving me trouble. Also, this is not working out well for me lately. Hey guys, how about one of you uh, bites the dirt now? Okay, so there's a guppy item. Probably gonna reroll that in a sec. Let's see what's in here. Sack dagger and... Oh, excuse me. Mm, I'll take that. And I will... Reroll this. I really want to reroll the guppy's paw, though, too. Ah, I'm so torn! Ah, okay. Well, there you go. Problem solved. And we'll just pop back out real quickly. Grab this guy over here. And now I don't have enough. Oh, right, we can bomb the donation machine, grab another battery, reroll the other one, and everybody wins. And by everybody, I mean all of you out there and me. That's all of us. It's the whole world. Um, yeah, that worked out. That also kind of worked out, I guess. I believe the way this happens is there's a chance that whenever... Oh, also, I think... I'm sorry to say this, but we're gonna drop Rainbow Worm now. Um, oh, hello. Uh, there's a chance that when you pick up a black heart, you will have a permanent friend join your group. Ooh, I wanna open these. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, I certainly did wanna open those. What a nice treat that is. Now we can go a bit faster, hopefully a lot a bit faster. Hope you guys don't miss the Rainbow Worm too, too much. It's cool, but in this particular case, since we're switching gears here over to uh, the Mom's Knife scenario, uh, it's just not going to be optimal anymore. Now, as far as us getting through the rest of this whole biz by the end of 30 minutes... What is that? Louse. Itchy tasty. Alright, so that's a Resident Evil reference. I'm glad we could bring that one back. Yeah, so I've got Devil Precedent. And no way probably to make it to Hush on time. This is probably not going to end up right. <laughs> and I'm very sorry. Oh. Okay. Not going to help me out very much to do this slowly, but I also don't really see how this is going to happen anyway. All right, this is just the first. Yeah, this is Necro 1. This is not good. If only I'd gotten this mom's knife a little bit earlier. But if some buds were candies and nuts, we'd all die. Because we have a nut allergy, probably. Those nut allergies, man, they'll kill you. Seriously. Throat'll close right up. 
I'm lucky, I have a nut allergy, but it's not a serious one. And it's only some nuts. Specifically, almonds, walnuts, pecans. I said pecans very... pecan... pecans? I just realized I don't know how to say that word. It took me this many years of my life. I'm 30 years old. I don't know how to say pecans. There it is. I'm sure everybody pronounces it slightly differently, so... But I want the item room, though, but it... Oh, what am I... Who am I fooling here? There's no sense... ...in bothering. Also, that, that rock seems to be stuck in the wall there. Oh! Well, this is different. I like it. I can get into that. Might as well grab this sucker. And I guess the item room can't be too far away. We're already through most of this floor. I say already, but like, you know. Uh, we'll just keep heading over. Oh, no, I didn't mean to use that. I don't know why. I just didn't notice that was there. Oh, careful. Careful. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, I thought you were going to put the item room right on the other side of that L room. L room Hubbard. Went to the cupboard. He said Scientology was bear. Bear? Taffy? Where is this coming from? Okay, here we go. Tiny planet. Oh, I hate this combination with this. No, not good enough. I was hoping for something better than that, too. Mm, more options. What does this one do again? I don't remember what the difference is between regular... There's options and more options. Sorry, donation machine. I'm giving you a rough go of things. Alright, we're just gonna pop our way back over the other side. Hoping somewhere along the way that we can run into the majesty that is Dad's key. And then at the very least, we'll get that done. Not gonna hold out a ton of hope, but it is possible that we'll run into it. We do have, I think, an okay luck stat. And you're dead. And you're dead. Quite a few of these little... corn-filled dips. Makes them sound much nicer than they actually are. Um, that might be... not that useful. We'll grab the mark, of course, because we get some health back already from it. And I'll reroll that into... Abaddon! Who doesn't love good old Abaddon? Tabadon. All of a sudden, my damage is looking pretty phenomenal. Well, if there is for some reason an error in my calculation of how you get to the hush fight, I would say that uh, I would have a pretty good chance at dealing with that situation well. I'm not sure that I have miscalculated that, but again, in, in the event, just saying, I think things are going to be just fine. Look at these freaking fires can't even get to me. It's a good place to be in. Bullets can't touch me. Nothing stays alive for more than a few seconds. Extra hearts actually just chilling all around the world. Statues crumbling for me. Because they know how much I love you. That's a that's sugar ray. I would like to shoot a sugar ray actually out of my body. I guess that's probably more something I would find in a game like uh, Dandy than the Binding of Isaac, but, you know, there's some candy references in here as well, I believe. The moon. I could probably just use that, to be honest. Pinky eye. Well, I don't know what the louse even does. I was just carrying it with me for the eccentricity of the whole thing, just to have something look, uh, different looking in the bottom corner there. Looks a little bit like a weird butterfly, but I know it's not. It's a louse. It says it in the name. Dang, there's a lot of health all over the floor in this floor. Wish I could make better use of it. Trade it for pennies or something. One more item ahead. Yeah, I had a feeling it was down here, but it isn't. 
let's just kind of pop on through. I only have 16 cents, but I also have 12 keys, so I figure it doesn't hurt too much. Take a... All right. The old depths to greed is always such a disappointment. What am I going to use this money on? Well, I guess arcades are the one thing that's potentially still viable. If we run into them, which is no guarantees, of course. Item is... Oh, choice of Holy Mantle or Rainbow Baby. I will be very happy to take a Holy Mantle. In a very odd dichotomy of items here, there's uh, the, the most evil of evils and the most lovely of goods sitting right next to each other on my item tracker. I can dig it. Even though Edmund said to stop digging. Uh, right, so I guess we'll grab that for permanent Polaroid invincibility. Any items want to pop out of these guys? That's, uh... That's something. I guess I'll re-roll that. Because I don't really have a lot of use for it other than that. Yeah, alright. Sure. <laughs> you want to hang out? Let's do it, demon baby. You're not my first choice, unfortunately, but I guess you're not my last. I'd rather have you than a razor blade. I guess you'd say that about a lot of things, though. Unless you really need a shave. That used to be an actual concern of mine, you know? Having a, a proper razor gets a close shave. And then some at some point I just was like, hey, you know what? I got these buzz clippers. It's like a lot less expensive to just never buy razors again. Also, like the biggest freaking joke industry of the world, right? The razors that I'm sure these companies believe that you need to replace every two weeks, and then they keep them in a freaking safe in the back room of every store that sells them. Oh yeah, it's like $28.99 for a new razor. So you can shave your face. Because that's that important. And it's like, it's got a hundred blades. They're just shaving away the inside of your face little by little. It really doesn't matter though. It's just your face, right? Every now and then I get really astounded by the prices of certain products. I was in the uh, I was in CVS because my stupid town doesn't have an actual grocery store, unfortunately. So I've got to go to uh, a couple of places that act sort of like a grocery store, or I've got to drive a little bit away from it. And uh, the the thing I needed, I just need a can of compressed air. I was supposed to get a new graphics card today, and I was going to clean out the inside of my computer. The, the graphics card was late in arriving, of course, too. Uh, but I didn't know that at the time, so I just went to go get a can of compressed air. It was freaking uh, $12 or $11 at CVS. And I just, I looked at it, and I was like, this is lunacy. I'm not paying you $11 for a can of compressed air. It's fucking air in a can. And then, you know, I had to, to leave an angry tweet as I was walking to the car or something. And, you know, it's just, it's ridiculous. I need to get in the can of the uh, compressed air business. Apparently, these natural resources of ours... Uh, are really great for selling to each other. You know, the old water in a bottle is a, a classic move. Apparently air in a can, another classic move. I'm gonna learn all these moves eventually. I'm gonna make some big steps, and then I will eventually sell my mobile game acquisition game for $5.9 billion. Hierophant, I don't have a use for you. The Hierophant. The Hierophant. Okay, well, I'm never gonna say it like that, even though I wish I could. But... This is the nature of being a mortal human. We are fallible and say things strangely on occasion. The bloat! I remember when I had to care about you. And then I got Mom's knife. Alright, blood clots, extra damage. I don't even have to leave the room to replenish my junk there. Uh, may just go on pretty deep on this sucker. Although I kind of want to just... Oh, baby. Are we guppy? I don't know what I am there. I look very odd, actually. I look... Oh, I turned into Cthulhu! That's pretty neat. Some kind of demon monster of some sort. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna reroll both of those. So we get a couple more familiars. I'll definitely take a little brim with us. Always a fan of that guy's work. And now we can just pop right back out here. And... Oh, we can even take this battery. That's over here. And I don't even have to feel bad about, uh... Oh, the more options, that just makes item rooms have double... Yeah, I knew that. I just forgot. Yeah, I don't even have to feel bad about dealing with this thing. Yep, sure, done. Easy. There's probably even... Well, there's one more. You know what? I don't feel like going back. All right, Judgment Day. Here we go. Is there any way that I can still make it to the hush fight? 
Is it possible that I've fundamentally misunderstood how this all works? We will find out all of this and more in just a few moments. Well, not a few moments. Still got to go through the rest of the floor. And you know me. Still the same old G. But at least Snoop Doggy Dog and Dr. Dre have got my back. That's what I tell them anyway. I, mean, I, I wish I could see my DPS right now, actually. It's got to be completely insane. I've got a lot of really powerful attributes going on for me. You know, the soul, like, pentagram, little brimstone, holy mantle, abaddon, the mark. There's a lot of damage ups happening all at once here. It's fantastic. I really, really can't complain about the damage situation at all. And at the very least, you know, even if we didn't get a lot of new content in for this run we at least you know had a pretty exemplary run of uh, sh form show of form perhaps just as a regular old run oh these guys are the four-way ones but they didn't last long enough to even show me i'm quite looking forward to getting this new graphics card i was uh planning on doing a cross-country bicycle race or not race even just like a stroll through the countryside with Bear Taffy in Grand Theft Auto V. Sounds like the most fun that I'm ever going to have, because I love the uh, the landscape out there. It's just lovely. It's like visiting California, I guess. Or something. And just roll, yeah, just roll right through those. No biggie. Infested. Infested. Oh, I guess they pop out of all the poop individually, and if there is no poop, then, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so you just gotta pop through this guy here. No freaking big deal. Oh, I actually thought this would be faster than it is. There we go. And Hush does not open. Not to my surprise, unfortunately. Looks like they haven't added a lot of new devil items. It seems like mostly the same deal. Uh, so we may as well go up. Hope that with our rerolls, maybe we can make a dad's key manifest. It'll be our destiny. Oh, look, I made the brim shoot for some reason. Can't see our health today, but... Oh, that's okay. Um, do I want that? Kind of. Not really, though. Actually, that'd be neat if Dark Bum grabbed up that guy and was just like, here's three spirit hearts, because you picked up a thing that's worth more. That'd be neat. All right, so we should have a whole row, at least, of health. Everything's fine. Turns out left was not the best direction. We're going to try down next. Let's make our rounds. And this was not it either, so I guess we've eliminated all other options. We're going to go right. Ooh, angry chest. I don't know if I want what's in there that badly, to be perfectly honest. Oh, you know what? I can holy mantle through that. I don't remember if I got hit, but there we go. Worth it? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, you should have something for me. Thank you. I expected as much. So we're pretty much just doing our due diligence, getting through the rest of this floor. Not a lot of fears or cares about how this is all going, because we're pretty much through it all already. I mean, if we went back and, and added up all of the freaking items that I got on this run so far, I don't even know what to tell you. It's like all of the good ones. Again, I would love to see my DPS on this one. It's just freaking off the chain right now. You're all gonna die! Are you a wizard? That probably doesn't even affect this... Yeah, it does not affect this particular situation. Oh yeah, I forgot to check if uh, our baby helps our knife firing. I don't think it does, actually. I'd like it if you could just stand... Stand like... Yeah. I don't think that does anything, no. So yeah, added more synergies that don't work, sadly, but... Well, a lot more do now. Very much looking forward to the Brimstone Rubber Cement run that is some someday in my future. That's going to be a really good day. You and me, we can celebrate it together. Hope you like it as much as I will. 
Also, what even is this transformation, honestly? And why am I still bombing these rocks? I don't need any more freaking hearts. I've got all the hearts. My health is completely at cap. My health is becoming at kappa at this point. I almost bombed that rock, too, despite what I literally just said a second ago. One more. There you go. Should have been one-shotted. I don't know what you're trying to do there. Alright, this is only going to take a moment. You'll hardly feel a thing. I might as well just stand in. Almost didn't get him through the first phase there. Or, uh, finished him on the first phase. Um, did I take damage there? I may have. I'll just pop back over here. I'll be so lazy that I'll just pop up in another rock instead of... Yeah, going down another room. Alright, so we'll do that. Let's hope we get a Clutch Dad's Key. Curse of Darkness. Yeah, not my favorite thing about things. None of those are Dad's Keys, so I guess we'll reroll them all. There's not really anything here that would help me more than I already have, so... Yeah. I think we'll just leave those alone, and if I get charges, I'll go back for them. Just in the off chance that something shows up. You know, batteries also might happen too, I guess. So we'll just clear rooms, make our way in the world today. And I guess admire the beautiful damage that Mom's Knife is capable of doing. Must be such a drag. I know how you guys feel sometimes. It gets a bit boring watching somebody use the same... I don't want to use the word tired, but like... An item you've seen a hundred times is not really especially enjoyable or interesting to go through the game on, but I figured this was just going to be such an easy... I oh, will leave that and catch it on the next run. Um, such an easy win with that, usually, but I thought I was going for speed, and then it turns out I was really going for distance. I was all alone in my time of need. Oh, but 2020, I want to know if that works with Mom's Knife so bad. I will exercise restraint. Uh, we will take this battery... Go back over here. None of you are dad's key. I don't know what that is, but I would like to add it to my collection. Scatter bombs. Oh, I have seen that already, actually. My bad. I don't know if I've seen it on this save file, but I have seen it nonetheless. Um, so yeah, just here, watch. It'll split open like little cluster bombs. I imagine this is much more entertaining when you've got something like sad bombs or like a, an effect that makes the bombs do weird stuff. You really have some fun with it that way, I guess. Oh yeah, I forgot we've got quick charge going on. Uh, for our D6. Which, of course, again, we took through the entire run. And, oh. Oh, you'll produce quite a bit of poop. And really, it's just a matter of time here, whether we get this or not. If I do get it, uh, well, I don't think there's going to be much of a, a difficulty with taking on our friend Megastan. I think you can all pretty much collectively agree, right, that this is not... There's no contest at this point. There's nothing still out there that's uh, super daunting to me with this level of damage and this weapon. Darn! Well, let's pump over here. I'm also somewhat tempted to want to grab the other uh, mind-body-soul item there. Oh, and another battery. Well, let's leave that, and we'll go up here first, since I've got two already started here. I'm pretty sure I'll have another full charge just from doing rooms. And then we can't say that we didn't do our due diligence on doing our best to get through that. Another battery would be great. No, that's not quite what I wanted. I guess if I run into an ability to reroll everything on this floor, I'll be happy about that. Not sure quite where I would get that from, but you never know. Sometimes Isaac presents the oddest of options for us. Magic fingers. Oh, I've got to take this. Wait, do I have to? Yeah, I do. Eight-inch nails. Oh, it just doesn't do anything with this. That's too bad. I don't even know what that looks like normally. Uh, well, we've got a fresh roll, so let's just do that. Ugh, little by little, we're eroding 
the fabric of time here. There's not much time left for us. We're running out of rooms. I think we'll get one more in, but it's probably not gonna happen, sadly. We'll see how clutch this game feels like being today. Or, you know, a battery drop would work, too. I really like that last room. That was a pretty tough one. Um, yeah, we've got one more big room up there. Definitely gonna be combating that one. And yeah, I know, it was silly of me probably to take the extra items that, you know, I know I'll eventually get them. But, call me impatient. I like adding things to my item log as soon as possible. The whole collecting element of this game I find quite fascinating as well. Alright, there we go. Very doubtful that I'll make it through another set. Uh, well, I guess I will follow suit on this sucker then. Post hat. I've made quite a cool looking Isaac at the very least. This will be the legacy that I leave. Sure, we didn't accomplish any goals, but we made a cool looking Isaac, I guess. And, you know, I did show off another transformation that I had no idea was even in the game, really. Well,. I can't say that because I did know it was in the game, but I didn't know how to get to it. I don't know what fly you are. Friend zone! Friendly fly. We entered the friend zone? Scariest zone of all zones? I don't know what that does. I assume probably something like a charm effect, maybe. Oh! Clutch battery! Okay, cool. One more. And I guess at this point it really doesn't matter which one I reroll, does it? Uh, I've only left the one pedestal there. And you are not what I was after. So, I will go ahead and round up all of the items here so we can have the longest list of items ever. And then we can proceed to the final boss, which we'll just basically destroy in a few moments. Oh, I didn't look for a secret room either. Um, well, it could be there. Nope, not there. Uh, could be there! No, that's not quite right. Maybe over to the left? Mm, like right here? Hang on, where is the door on this? Oh, easier to just use that to gauge it. Nope. I think they maybe did just a little bit of an adjustment with the secret rooms too. Not saying that this is necessarily representative of anything, because I don't think it is. Um, but I have run into a few that were just, like, kind of oddly placed in ways that I didn't expect. Oh. Well, that's different. Laser ring tears. What? Oh my god, it shoots that out? That's so weird. Only if I fully charge it, it looks like? No, it gets bigger. What a strange synergy. I did not expect that that would work together. Well, <laughs> that's that. At least we've uh, we've accomplished the goal of finding a weird item that did something unexpected. And we'll see what that does to our buddy right in here. It's the old uh, wafer look, I guess. Yeah, you did not stand up to that the whole attack. All right, I guess that's going to be it for this run. It was kind of silly, but in the most excess-filled way. Access? Access? Whatever. Access. Access the like button below your video and click on it, please, because that makes me very happy. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you will stop back for the next one. I do plan on doing a bunch more Afterbirth content, of course, uh, provided you guys are into it. And I do definitely read all the comments, so if you uh, have anything to say, feel free to chime in. Suggestions on what to do next are welcome. Uh, anything you want to talk about, honestly, is fine with me, and I'll uh, probably talk about it in the next episode. That's kind of the way I do biz. I say biz a lot now. I think it's from Adventure Time. Another odd, odd observation, I guess. It's like a Rob-servation. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you on the next one. I hope you have a fantastic night! Later.